Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. So today I'm going to be sharing with you my sort of binder reset for my saving changes and sinking fund. If you watched my last video, um, it was my saving changes and happy mail, you would have seen that I've got two new um, binders, which I absolutely love. And I wanted to replace the clear binders with the um, structured binders essentially. Nothing wrong with the clear binders, but I was just kind of getting bored of them and I've had them in for a long while I would say now. So yeah, like I've been doing my um, budgeting journey I think since last January, so January 2022 I think is when I started making videos on YouTube. So it's been a while since I've been on YouTube. Obviously I've had a few breaks along the way because at times you get fed up with things and personal life just takes over or you just want to quit doing everything. I think when I took a break, I think this year in March or February time, till July, I think I was just fed up with everything and I just took a complete break of everything. I just didn't really do much, whether it was side hustles or whether it was making video or Instagram content. I just lost, like lost sort of um, the enjoyment in life essentially. I just got fed up with everything, fed up with work, just everything in general. <laughs> so uh, it's nice being back and creating content again. I feel I feel like on Instagram, like I've upped my game with the content creation and I am enjoying it. YouTube, I am trying to do a different video every week. Well, roughly every week. Um, I know sometimes it can be same old, like you've got the budgeting video, you've got the cash stuff thing, you've got the saving challenges, sinking fans. Well, those are gonna be the usual videos, but if you've got any like sort of like, video ideas, do let me know in a comment below comment section below but this one I just saw a few other people doing and I thought you know what I can do that and I, I kind of wanted to do it for a while but I also like doing my um binder resets off camera as well just because I have lots of space and sometimes I like going through things in details and it could just take me an hour to do which is probably quite a long time but you know I like taking my time with things at times so the dusky blue one, which I'm loving, it's going to go with my sweet, not sweet, this saving challenge. I'm just reading the budget with Abby saving challenge. So yeah, so, and the sinking fund one will go towards the blue um, binder. So, you know you get the little paper around here. Oh my god, did it take me ages to get it out of this blue binder. I got fed up with it in the end. I did start recording it and then I just had to do it offline because it just took forever. It wouldn't come out properly. Oh well, it's not a major problem. So this is my £10 challenge for extra house savings. So I'm just gonna put that to the side and this is the sticker that I got with the binders. And then you all know I got the sweet Sweet, sweet um, saving challenge, which I'm going to put here for the time being, which is about fair. And then I'm just going to go through all of these just to make sure these are all the um, what do you call it um, binders that I essentially want. As you can see a bit of my face there, but I think you will like recognize me. <laughs> That's the thing I think with the clear binders, sometimes you can see like the person's face or not like a face, but like a warped version of their face. <laughs> so let me just put this on the floor. There you go. Um, I think I always have to be careful with, I think it's Ives Spinder because that one also shows the face as well. And I am being anonymous here on YouTube and Instagram. I think maybe one day I'll share, share myself, but not yet. I don't feel comfortable <laughs> doing that just yet. I got these like... Um, they're not placeholders, they're like the inserts so that they're cover pages essentially. And this is from the Aesthetic Budget. I used to buy so many like budgeting bits and bobs from her um, Etsy um, account. But it's a shame that she went, I don't even know why because there's no like message on inst Instagram. So it's just a shame that lots of people are going from like Instagram and also YouTube. It's, I was going through my subscription list um, because I don't use the subscription like video page to watch everyone's video because sometimes I miss out a lot of people's video and I just find it easier to go to each of their channel and catch up on their videos. And I was just going through all my lists because everyone uploads and then you get like a little dot to their name. And essentially 
I was going through that and I was like, oh my god, so many people haven't made a video for a couple of months. And it's been like three, four months and I'm like, maybe they'll come back because that's what I did. But um, but there's some channels that haven't come back come back at all. Like I think it was Scottish Mama Bear and I loved her setup. Like when I say loved, I mean I really loved her setup. I loved her like resin binders and I remember I wanted them because I looked at her setup and I was like, that's the type of setup setup that I want. And she just had a really, really nice setup. So I'm just gutted that she's no longer doing videos because I loved her videos, I loved watching her ch channel. Um, also recently, I think it was Yorkshire Budget, she's no longer going to be doing a YouTube either or Instagram, she's deleted Instagram, but she's no longer going to be doing YouTube. And that is such a shame, but I do understand why people, you know, go from YouTube and Instagram because, you know, it's it takes a lot of time to create content on YouTube and Instagram. I know in the beginning, um, we're doing it for ourselves, we're holding ourselves accountable, responsible for our finances, but afterwards you want to sh uh, sort of share your finances so other people can learn from it as well. Like, how to be good with money, how to do cash stuffing, how we do sinking funds, etc. Because when I first started the budgeting journey, I had no idea what sinking funds were. I had to do a lot of research before I actually started doing like my videos and stuff. So yeah, but it's a shame to see like all these channels go, but I, I totally understand personal life and you know, family takes priority and sometimes work takes priority. I think I'll be keeping this rainy day challenge. Um, whether I will use this next year, I'm not 100% sure. I think sometimes 20 pounds is a bit much. I'd rather have different like denominations essentially. So whether I keep this, and do it next year, I'm not 100% sure, but I'll keep it for the time being. What I could do is that I can get another like um, challenge. So yeah, and I also have this rainy day challenge. I think once I've used this quite a few times, I will be um, getting rid of this essentially. Um, not that because I don't like the challenge, it just doesn't really go with my aesthetic, if that makes sense. So it just doesn't really fit in with the binder and I don't really like mismatch either. I'm still keeping this emergency fan, but again, like this one, it doesn't really go with the binder itself. And I want to create like a clear binder sort of theme. So it, that's going to be a work in progress. It's nothing that I need urgently. And I know when I say I want this and that, I end up getting a couple of months down the line. So I'm going to be good and not try and change anything too quickly up, essentially. You might hear some background noises. Apologies, family's woken up and, um, you know, live at home and all. <laughs> um, treat yourself. I'm still keeping this. I've got two um, challenges and this is, they're both from DD Louise Budget. Again, I haven't seen her on Instagram or YouTube for a while either. Loved her videos. But I'm going to be, um, what do you call it, um, be saving up for this challenge. Uh, once I've saved up for this challenge, I'm going to use the money for this little treat yourself. Um find essentially so it's just that I don't have enough money to allocate to this at the moment but I'm going to try I'm going to try birthday this is the one that I created myself and I had to end up taking the money out and putting it towards my extra house savings um just because I need to get it over and done with but I do have another challenge in here I, I will complete this at some point but not just yet and I've also have this birthday treat challenge which I've had for years some of these I think I've had it for about not a year I think over six months so this is again from Dee Dee Louise budget and I really do love it but I haven't had time to use it and it is quite big numbers as well but I think I chose the 400 pound one so my phone, my phone fault for choosing a big one but it's fine not end of the world so yeah my capsule wardrobe, I should have just done wardrobe. I have never really saved with this. I Again, this is one of my little challenges that I created just because I felt like it. But I couldn't see anything online and I still haven't saved up for this because I don't have like 50 pounds to allocate. So yeah, can't do much with that. <laughs> and then I have my mini saving challenge which I am going to put towards the front because I'm going to start doing that earlier, a bit more like me here, 
but this is where oh, I do majority of my challenges from this little section here. That makes sense. Beauty, I did save up for this, and then <laughs> again the money was put elsewhere, and I quite like this. And it's a small amount, so I think that's decent. And I will start this again. It's just I want to complete these challenges, and then I can focus on getting these ones out of the way essentially. But fingers crossed, I will nearly be there with um, what do you call it? Um, what do you call it? I will nearly be there with my like rainy day challenge and my like emergency fund. Fingers crossed. That's my perfume one again. Same thing. I took the money out and put it towards my house saving. So let me just close this for a minute because, like, I've only got like 30, 60, 70. Eighty pounds left here, and any money that that will go here will go towards my um, iris binder, and then I will do this again because I just find it easy to do this channel because of the small denomination amount, and it just works best for me. And this one might take a while, but I'm going to be really I'm going to try uh, hard in, in September to save quite a bit of money and put it towards my emergency fund because I kind of want to get this over and done with, and then I can start saving for the smaller. Um, challenges essentially that way it just gives me like more room to play with my money <laughs> not play with it just more like room to, for it to go to the smaller challenges essentially so yeah what I might do is put the save one this is a save one that I've just started doing recently and this is the <clears throat> excuse me let me have a sip of water before my mouth gets more drier I don't know whether you saw that or not, but yeah, it's just lemon water. So this is the new challenge from Luna Lonnie. In my last video, I kept saying Luna Locks. I have no idea why. And it was even there on the, um, on the what do you call it, the challenge. So yeah, oh well. <laughs> my brain wasn't working that morning. <laughs> so this is like small denomination amount and this will save 200 pounds and Again, this will go towards the budget with, um, not the budget with, Iris Spinder that I have. And it's just going to be, oops, hit the door. Um, it's just going to be easier for me to um, sort of manage because it's a smaller amount. So what I might do is put this here. So if I just move this out here, I'm going to put you here. i put you save here. And then the mini savings, these are the little like saving challenges that you get um, from the budgeting like um, Etsy shops. And essentially you can save small amounts. So this one's from Budget with Abby and it's like £25. This is from Luna and Ollie and that's £50. Again, like the really small amounts. And I will do this again and I get, and same one, this one is Budgeting Bear and it saves £90. And I think it's like small amounts that I can easily save up and I can just put this elsewhere. So it's just nice to do these if I've got any extra change. Just to change it up doing the challenges because sometimes when you're doing the same challenge over and over again it can become quite boring. Now I've got the summer one which I've never really used. I don't even know why I've got this envelope. It's kind of annoying that I did. But I might give it away. But it is a bit damaged. I might just keep it. It's a bit damaged from here, so I would have given it away, but it's fine. I'll keep it instead. I think this one I got from Lila Lolly as well, say 500. I think I'm going to put this towards my giveaway. So when I reach 300 subscribers here on YouTube, I'm going to be doing a giveaway, and I think I'm going to give this a part of that um, giveaway. Just It's just going to be like little challenges, some challenges that I had for over... A couple of months and I haven't used them and I know I'm not going to use them now because I've had that reset of what challenges I want to use and which ones I don't want to use and I just want to kind of get rid of things that I don't use um, anymore essentially because there's no point keeping things that I won't use because it won't be beneficial to me so yeah and this will go towards the binder the same challenges giveaway I do love it and I will probably order this again for myself some point towards the end of the year now or when there's like I think there's someone there's someone I'm waiting for I think it's cash but cute I'm waiting for her um 
Etsy shop to open and there's so many things that I want from there like so many things so I might do like an order of this again when I order from cash but with Q I think that's what it is sometimes I butcher people's um, YouTube names apologies <laughs> so summer will go here because I'm getting rid of this summer saving challenge it's just I haven't used it and even though I've had it for a long time now then I have this dynamic saving challenge whether I'll get this now I have no idea because I still don't have a house so can't really save up for this because I don't have a house yet and then these are just this is for furniture again I haven't really saved up anything for furniture so I'm just complete uh, what do I have here so I essentially have all my completed um, saving challenges here so that Towards the end of the year, I can count and see how much I've saved up, essentially. Whether I'll do that or not, I've got no idea. I still have my Gold Rush Challenge, which I think I might put notes in it, just for it to quickly um, finish it up. I think next time when I have any changes, like change left, I might just do it from my bank account. It might be easy. And then I had this with budget, budget with Ivor, like the invoice sort of note, or invoice slip. And, or the sort of slip that you get that tells you what you bought like what you purchased and I didn't know what this was for but I'm going to kind of use this as a five pan sort of saving challenge might as well use it it was cute not to use it so I'm going to leave that in here and I'll do it when once the one pound challenge is completed and I think that's it what I need to do is put this here because I think it's nice to have this at the front I don't know when I'm going to be doing this sweet challenge, but it's not that hard. It's not like, it's not like big numbers, so that's 5, 10, 20, 25, 30 pounds. And then you've got 10, 20, 30. So it's only 30 pounds for the looks of it for every challenge. 10, 20, 30, 10, 20, 30. Yeah, 30 pounds. So it's actually quite a small amount, so I might end up, you know, I might end up using this instead of the um, rainy day challenge next time. This way I can complete like little sections quite a bit more quickly and I would quite like that in a way. So yeah, I think instead of the rainy, rainy day challenge next time, I'll use this little sweet one. And obviously it's not going to be used for like sweets and stuff, but as long as I'm saving, that's what all that matters. And I think it looks quite nice like here at the front of my binder. So yeah, so next time I won't be doing this and I'll just do this and put the money in here. Whichever way it works, or I'll put it in this envelope. Yeah, I don't mind. And I'll put the sticker here. And I'll put you in here. And will this shot? Oh yes, it will. I don't really like having like a bulky, um, what do you call it? Um, binders because I felt last time it just made my um, binder not look, look that nice so yeah let's put you here and I'm just gonna have another sip of water so excuse me and let's do sinking pens I feel like I might have been rambling and my video is like my talkative like <laughs> it might be everywhere and anywhere but um, it's fine it's something different so yeah I think before I got onto other things I was saying <laughs> I like how I get onto one thing to another thing I've got a bad habit of doing that sometimes so like this year I really like want to up my game with content creating and that's what I've been doing on YouTube so far but it is a bit hard not YouTube I mean Instagram so far I feel like that is going much better than I was expecting and um, and I can't, I'm really enjoying it. Like I use Canva to create a lot of my um, content here on Instagram, but it's just, it's going better than expected now. Um, when I first started, I never expected to have like over a thousand followers on Instagram, but now I'm, I'm like over a thousand. I think I reached a thousand last year. And then this year I took a lot of break. My content wasn't all that, I wasn't really like into it either. Like into it, I mean that I didn't find it fun. I wasn't fine. Yeah, I wasn't getting enjoyment of creating um, the content essentially. 
So I'm kind of up in my game and now I'm getting my, um, now it's kind of growing again slowly, but it's growing. So I'm really, really happy with that. And again, I've got another like a little card holder, placeholder sort of thing for the front of my binder, which just says my thinking fans. But this again, it was from the aesthetics budget. So yeah, I'm finding it fun, you know, to be back into creating content. YouTube I am working on is just, um, Videos aren't like my best sort of element. <laughs> I find it a bit more, um, it takes a bit more time. So I am working, well, I'm doing my best with that essentially. <laughs> so you've got my house um, binder and the little tracker for it. Whether I'll use this next year, I have no idea, but it's just there for the time being. I suppose a house I can use for anything that I need it, like um, what do you call it, house maintenance, saving money for it, etc. In the lifetime I sell it, you all know that I've kind of quit for this year, maybe until I'm 30. So whether I have a use for this envelope or not, probably not for the time being. So I might at some point get rid of it if I'm not using it. Car insurance I, I have been using. I do need to take this money back into the bank because I don't need it here. So if I don't need it, I don't need it. <laughs> um, then I've got car maintenance. So YouTube, I think, in terms of content, um, I want to like create the intro and outro videos. So I'm gonna be focusing on that for the next couple of months. I know when you speak, some people might be thinking, the next couple of months? Yeah, it's gonna take me a while because I've got lots of things planned. <laughs> I'm on holiday, potentially in October, for a couple of weeks. And then also, my main priority at this point is making sure I'm consistent with Instagram because I don't want to be wearing too many hats and not doing a good a good enough job essentially. I've got my car maintenance one and that was a car maintenance here, yeah, car tax. Again, I use these ones quite often and I would say I'm quite good with these. I think car maintenance has about 300 pounds, but I've got 100, 150. I don't know why I got 150 here, I'm pretty sure. No, this is my car tax. I'm being right dim. It's car tax, it has 150 for a reason. <laughs> because I only need it. I only need 150. <clears throat> Excuse me. The car maintenance one should have 300 in it. Which it does. So it has. 200, 300, and these placeholders are from Budget Iris. I love these, and I will be getting more. I've got some other ones with Budget with Zoe, but I think I'll be giving them away or doing something with them because I kind of like the Iris ones more better. That's what it is. <laughs> um, do I have a car tag? No, I have the insert for it, that's fine. So I've got Eid, and I've got the little place hopefully tracker with it. Again, I do need to start saving up for this because Eid is going to be April next year, I'm pretty sure. So I do want to uh, sort of start adding to that. Um, gifts, I'm going to be adding to this as well because this one is just needs a lot of money all the time. Healthcare, I don't think I need this binder to be honest. And I get why, not binder, like envelope. And I get why I created it, but it just didn't really work that well for me. I think I need to have more into it for it to work really well. Then holiday, holiday is going good. Again, I've got 50 pounds here, that stuff last time. I should put this back into the bank. I don't like having too much money. Even though there's always someone at home, I just don't feel that comfortable at times with having a lot of money around. House insurance, this is uh, done. Um, but these are the budget with Zoe ones. And there's nothing wrong with them, but I just prefer the Iris ones more. And it's just, I just like them more essentially. And that's fine. I think this is pretty, it's like 150 as well. And this is due, I think, in February time, maybe March. Jewellery, I haven't really used this, um, to be honest. Not any of the luxury goods, but I know that I will save up for them at some point. 
MOT I had been saving up for, it's just, I've spent all the money and I need to be saved up for it. Technology I never use, but you know, I'm not sure whether we've seen like the Samsung phones, like the Z Fit phones and stuff, or the foldable phones, and I really like them, so I will potentially be saving up for that, but not yet, it's just not a priority. <laughs> I got treatments and that's fine. Nothing really new there. Small business. This is like more like if I need to do anything for YouTube, like get camera bits or for Instagram, whether it's camera bits or the Canva subscription. Um, I've, I've kind of gone on the pro mode at the moment to see how often I use camera and see whether it's worth it and then I will potentially save up for it so I pay it as an annual bill rather than like a monthly bill essentially and um, as a guard one this is um it's a compulsory so I have to give possibly 2,100 pounds plus I think next year and not 100% sure on top of my head so yeah and then these are just like little trackers essentially like lots of my things are from budget with aesthetic so yeah but she's gone now which is a shame um so yeah so i am trying to do my best with everything at the moment but it just gets a bit difficult at times to create um the relevant content as well excuse if you can hear my mum in the background she's telling everyone to hack come and eat the breakfast but yeah so I'm trying to just do my best with YouTube and Instagram, but at the moment I'm not going to lie and be like I'm not focusing on YouTube or Instagram too much. I would say I'm focusing a bit more on um, Instagram because it's it's where I'm finding the enjoyment from, and YouTube I am enjoying it as well. But um, at times I can get a bit like ah I have to create a video etc. So I'm trying to put like. I'm trying to do like different videos, I'm trying to keep it fun, I'm trying to keep myself a bit motivated with doing different like saving challenges and stuff. So that's why I got like new bits and bobs because I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere. So I needed to essentially change up stuff and just to make it fun. I think with budgeting and stuff, it can get like boring and um, and when it gets boring, you kind of fall out of the leap. For me, that's the way it is. So yeah, so I was trying to just add things in so it makes so essentially fine that I find it fun, etc. So yeah, I think I might have random rambled on for quite a long in this video, but you know, I think it's nice to go through my binders and just show you guys everything. Um, so yeah, if I've talked too much, apologies, and if I've rambled on and I've gone to one thing, to another thing, and I come back to it, apologies. Sometimes I have to go through like the setup here, and then I forgot. I lose my train of thoughts. <laughs> so yeah, so um, once I reach 300 um, subscribers here on YouTube, I will be doing a small like giveaway of my um, saving challenges. So yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Until next time, guys. Bye-bye.